Thank you for staying with ABC 6 News tonight for our hour-long special. Again, following the tragedies in Falcon Heights, Baton Rouge, and most recently down in Dallas, Texas, we've decided to devote an entire hour covering all angles of the recent events. Betsy joins us from Studio B, and we'll be going to her throughout the show to bring in guests, both at the local and state level, to talk about what's happened. And you have someone with you right now to start off our show, so we'll send it to you, Betsy. All right, thanks so much, Laura. We are talking with John Edmonds, who is with uh, Project Legacy in Rochester. Already in this half hour, it was a shortened legislative session in Minnesota, and it came down to the final minutes. Literally, it did, but it still wasn't enough, and it even got some lawmakers pretty fired up. Mr. Speaker, Mr. wasn't that Speaker, one of our primary amendments? He has my amendment. I got one he in has the desk. my amendment, Mr. Speaker. And tonight we're sitting down with two of our local lawmakers from this area to look more in depth with what did happen last night and the weeks leading up to it. Thanks so much for sticking with ABC6 tonight. I'm Betsy Singer. The 2016 session ended last night without the deals on the issues that lawmakers said were their priorities this session. One of the biggest bills on the table was, of course, the bonding bill. We've been talking about it for weeks. In the House, Democrats were upset that they received a bonding bill with a half billion dollars worth of projects just a half hour from the end of the session late last night. Now, the bill ultimately passed with just a few minutes to spare, but not before an argument between House Speaker Speaker Kurt Dowd and Minority Leader Paul Thiessen and Democrats made it known that they weren't happy. You know, again, members, I think this is a really sad day for this institution. The bill made it to the Senate and it was amended, but when they tried to send it back to the House, the House had already adjourned uh, and meaning that they're not done until next year. So now one big question that remains is whether or not there will be a special session. House Speaker Dowd says he is open to that. Not a lot of people obviously believing that it may even happen. There are a lot of questions, though, still today. We're not even 24 hours from when all of that took place. We're joined by Senator Carla Nelson and Representative Tina Liebling to discuss what happened and hopefully answer some of those questions. ABC 6 News at 6.30. We are live at Silver Lake Park in Rochester for an annual ceremony commemorating the atomic bombings of Hiroshima and Nagasaki. More on the event in the next half hour. Plus, why a little girl's fifth birthday tomorrow is a day her parents never thought they'd see. But first, it is primary day in Minnesota with polls open for another 90 minutes. Good evening and thank you for joining us for a special edition of ABC 6 News at 6.30. We are broadcasting this newscast live from Silver Lake Park in Rochester. I'm James Wilcox. There are some key races with spots up for grabs on the Republican tickets in both the first and second U.S. congressional districts.